Hey Aries, welcome to your December 2017 Taroscope reading. This is Lauren with the Clarity Cure. Welcome back. Nice to see you and a warm welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for tuning in today and happy holidays to you all. Please make sure you um, check out the Eye in the Sky for all the holiday promotions that I'm running. I'm doing some gift giveaways as well. I'm giving away four of these bracelets if you... I'll sign up for my mailing list. All this information is in the description box below as well. Um, I'm trying to keep these intros real short so we can jump right into the reading. But I also want to share, you know, um, what I'm doing for the holidays. $10 off video readings as well, uh, just to name a few. So please, please, um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And check out all everything that I'm offering, okay? So let's jump in here at the bottom of the deck. And your overall energy for the month of December is the Two of Pentacles. So, looks like you've had a lot going on, Aries. Um, looking maybe for some stability in your life right now or to make a choice. You're juggling, you know, maybe work and your personal life. And you are potentially even looking to make a decision. Um... Or you could be receiving a decision. So there's a lot of ups and downs going on and you might feel, you know, a little uptight, like you're walking on a tightrope. But try to stay balanced as much as you can. Um, if you're dealing with any pain or grief, um, with a lot of these, you know, stuff going on, try to stay as positive as you can and letting go of what no longer serves you as well. And that that's all only through acceptance does that work. A lot of people are like, well, how do I let go? Well, you let go by accepting what is because <laughs> you can't control anything that's outside your control, right? So um, it's a transformation. You got a lot going on. Let's see what the other cards are bringing in for you, Aries. So the overall situation is the sun. Well, that's, that's a really lovely positive card. Um, this is family, home, ultimate happiness, you know, the sun is shining on your life and your family um, and, yeah, you're feeling really great. But, however, it's crossed with the Queen of Swords. So, uh, Queen of Swords. You know, this is an air sign. Um, I was going to say Scorpio. Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra person in your life that might be causing you some grief Honestly, on your happiness, this is crossing you. Um, male or female, doesn't matter. Not gender specific in general readings. So, um, and not necessarily specific to just those sun signs. Somebody that could be of this kind of personality as well. You know, in the Queen of Swords, boy, she tells it like it is. She's devoid of emotion. So if you have anybody in your life like that right now that's giving you a hard time, well, he here they are, Okay. Uh, real important for you to be careful with your communication. Uh, words can be real cutting at this time. It is the holiday season. Uh, don't let anybody rain on your parade. That's what I feel like this is all about. This person is coming in and, um, mm, yeah, you know, maybe just weighing you down, you know. Um, so let's see what else is going on. Excuse me one minute. Go. Go lay down. <laughs> My dog is a, Go. Go lay down. Go lay down. I love you. Go lay down. I've had mixed uh, <laughs> reviews with my dogs. That's why I kind of blocked the mirror. But he's over here biting and biting, biting his feet, driving me crazy. Go lay down. Okay, mommy will be done in a few minutes. I love you. Okay. Um, at your foundation, and I apologize, Aries, is the Two of Swords. So you're sitting on making a decision here, you know, but maybe you're in a pause period. That's kind of what this means. Like if you see her arms across and she's holding up these two swords and her eyes are covered and it's, you know, maybe you're putting a blind eye to what's going on maybe with this air sign person um, or... Um, you're not quite sure what you want to do yet. You're not sure. So you're kind of just in this pause period. It's, 
it's the easiest way to explain it, okay? That's at your foundation. Hmm. In your recent past is the Page of Swords. So this is another page. Okay, and this is usually a younger, um, you know, below 30, um, male, female, again, not gender specific. The page is, um, you know, real enthusiastic, can't wait to get started kind of energy. Um, this page goes for it. Uh, you know, there is the need here to communicate. Um, and this page does have a way with words. I mean, this could be a writer or a speaker or somebody like that. Um, but th this page wants to be in the know. And it's usually, pages are messengers coming in. And if you can see, uh, this page here has his sword drawn. And, um, you know, so maybe there's been some gossip or... Um, Mm, you know, maybe you even finding out the truth about a situation. So protect your privacy. Um, I would not, you know, engage again, it's in your recent past, but you know, still moving forward, I wouldn't engage in any gossipy stuff, especially with this queen of swords crossing you. And this is another swords card here in your recent past. So, um, you know, looks like there might be some difficulty here. Um, yeah, you have the five of swords. Um, over here as well and you have the five of water you know and this is you this is about you being disappointed this is one of your oracle cards and this is the five of cups and you know this is you just being in a sad place you know what I mean like um, focused on the negative right what's not working um, and some regrets so something's going on for sure three of wands hmm well, let's just keep going and see what else is coming in. So crowning you is the seven of wands, okay? And this is that warrior spirit uh, kind of energy. This is you defending yourself, standing up for yourself, um, you know, against all odds. you got a lot of stuff coming at you. Um, and a lot of people freak when they see this card, but he's kind of smiling. You see that he's... Um, Yeah, he's fighting that fight, so to speak, if you know what I mean. And <clears throat> um, this is about what you want and that you're not going to settle or back down. Um, well, there's no other cards here that indicate um, that you're being defensive. You know, it can go either way, all right? But you're willing to fight for what you believe in. Um, and, and the seven of... Um, uh, wands as well is about ass assessing, you know, your progress and reviewing and being just really super determined, okay, to get what you want. That's the best that could be hoped for. In your immediate future is the three of wands. So you have a lot of wands and swords cards here. And um, this is always a great card, you know, the three of wands. He's kind of looking out, you know, he planted... A lot of seeds, um, maybe recently you set some goals for yourself and, um, you know, because to get to the three, you have to go through the ace and the two. So this is really great. I mean, you're on the right path. Um, so trust yourself. Whatever you're doing um, is positive. So I would ignore all these naysayers, um, all these swords cards. Now, if this is you being really hard on yourself, um, you need to stop. <laughs> I I don't I don't feel that it's look we all go through stressful times right where we can be our own worst enemy because the swords cards are all about that the mental thought process and our beliefs and our attitudes I mean yes you have the five of water and you have the five of swords if it's you you just need to focus on what you have done I mean this is amazing you've done the hard work um, there's growth and expansion coming here for you very quickly, Aries. So, you know, look forward to that. That That's amazing. Your ships are coming in. You see the ships and he's kind of looking from the shore and he sees them coming. So, you know, you've been fighting and standing up for what you want and well, here you go. So continue, okay, on that path because it's the right path for you. You're taking action, you know. So... The twos are doing the work, you know, the one, the ace is the new beginning, the two is doing the work, and now the three is, you know, manifestation, 
So that's really great. This could be, okay, so like in the real world, this could be like a raise or a promotion. This could even be about relationships as well. Okay, maybe, um, you know, something that your relationship's now moving forward with somebody that you really care about. You know, in general readings, it can be um, in relation to um, really anything, to be honest with you. Uh, your current situation or your power Look at that, it's the Six of Wands, another Wands card. Well, you're feeling really good. I mean, this is a victory card. I love the Six of Wands. It's like one of my favorite cards. And simply put, it's success and victory and feeling proud. So you hold on to that because, you know, you're moving to peace of mind in your life and you're in the spotlight and you're the winner. I mean, you're coming home with on your horse. It's kind of depicted like, you know, you've been out to battle and now you're won. You have the laurel wreath. Here and that symbolizes victory as well as a, the crown of victory over your head. So good for you, Aries. That's really, really nice. Now, how others see you and or the energy coming in is the Ten of Swords. So, you know, it's a very scary looking card. Again, another Swords card. Um, but it's it's an ending. Okay, so maybe you've been stabbed in the back. Maybe if you get involved... Um, and too much of this negativity with the five of water and the five of swords, you will get burned, okay? But whatever this is, I feel like this person and some of this drama, it, it's over. It's over. So know that. that That's actually really quite reassuring. Um, so if somebody done you dirty, let it go and move on because it's over, all right? Um, don't let this consume you. Because it looks like you might be struggling a little bit. You know, this is this five of swords is in your hopes and fears, and this is about you really having to go to battle. You know, and I don't think you want to. You know, it's certainly not a hope. Well, you know, you could be the victor here. I mean, also, this it's kind of a victorious card. Um, as long as this is you standing, and I feel that would be you, but at what cost? You know, at what cost did you win the battle? Uh, you know, so if it's petty stuff, you know, with the Page of Swords here and all that, uh, be careful with this. You know, sure, you are going to be victorious anyway, but you don't want to do it at the expense of other people or hurting somebody else. Or, I mean, sometimes you have to fight dirty, I guess. But, you know, in the long run, depends. It really depends on what it's all about, what's going on. Um, this could be simply that you stood up for yourself. I don't like to read into the cards too much where it seems all dramatic. You know what I mean? It could be something very simple, too. Um, but reading for so many people, you know what I mean? Like, I have to keep it kind of simple. Um, yeah, so, as I mentioned, yeah, in your hopes and fears is the Five of Swords. So, we talked about that. Uh, and interestingly enough, your final outcome is the Wheel of Fortune. Look at you. So that, that Wheel of Life is constantly turning, you know, and it looks like it's going to be turning in your favor this time around. You're very victorious here, Aries. So that's that's really, really nice. I'm really happy for you. Um, let's see what else I'm picking up here. You know, this is good luck, fate destiny as long as you harness these emotions okay um i don't know what you maybe you're just emotionally you know the cups cards are emotion so maybe whoever this person is or whatever's going on that's disappointed you it, it's just cutting you know and you feel it deep you know and um mm, you know sometimes that's hard to shake loose i get it you know, you get something under your fingernail kind of thing, and you're like, Rrr. but you can do this because you are going to be victorious at the end. There is luck coming your way, Aries. This is actually a great card. I see you by the end of December just being a really, really great place. And your other oracle card is Breathe. Okay, and this is from Colette Baron Reads, uh, or Wisdom of the Oracle. And um, simply put, it means breathe. You know, I feel like you know, with the breath of life and breathing through your, um, you know, your, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, 
second chakra, you can gain some energy and clear your mind through breathing um, and just trying to get grounded through the process. I'll just hold that up for you so you can see it. Let's, let's read the... Um, I need to get a better situation here <laughs> with these cards. <laughs> Oh, he's fallen down. and I got a new camera, but I have yet to uh, figure it out. My daughter's coming over for Thanksgiving. I'm probably oversharing, but she's going to help me <sighs> set up a new situation here. Okay, breathe. Patience. Waiting, going slowly. Wellness, meditation, trust. Patience in all things is called for right now. What do you need to do when you're in a rush? Slow down, of course. Meditate and trust. Breathe and repeat. Humans cannot exist without drawing breath. Now is the time to allow the life-giving element of air to replenish your body, your being, and your very essence. Stop to smell the roses, breathe in the sunlight, and release the darkness, and miracles will appear. Well, that is just beautiful, and that goes without saying. Um, you know, your miracles are coming with the Wheel of Fortune. That's just fabulous. Let me pull a love card for you. I think I'm going to do that for everybody for the month of December. Why not? It's the holiday season. <laughs> now I'm singing. I hope you guys checked out my love readings. Um, I rolled those out last week. So if you haven't, please go check those out. Maybe what I'll do is I'll put that in the eye in the sky too. So normally in the past, I've done general monthly and then like a mid-month general. And I think I'm going to do the love readings instead. Uh, love and general, but not the mid-month. All right, let me focus here a minute. Aries, what is the love message for our beautiful Rams? Aries. Aries, Aries, Aries. Honeymoon. Hmm. So you were going on a honeymoon, huh? Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Oh, oh, isn't that perfect, Aries? That's so nice. Here we are in the holiday season. Any of you that have planned a vacation or going away or just having a lot of family coming, enjoy yourselves. Mm. Look at the angel on the boat. Isn't that something? And that's you and your partner right there, or your love of your life, or whoever. Isn't that nice? Mm -mm -mm. Looks like Italy, yeah? Very nice. I love it. All right, Aries. Well, that was a great reading. Um... I'm trying to see if there's any other messages coming through for you. Hmm. You know, um, just hang in there. Because it looks like December is going to be pretty rocky for you. But in the end, it's all going to work out. And whoever you're dealing with, just, you know, if you have to defend yourself, please do it. But don't, you know. I wouldn't cut them, <laughs> you know, because you are victorious. You have a lot of great things coming in for you, some old wounds. And, you know, put your goals together for January. I've been telling everybody that since November. Um, set your goals and intentions so you can manifest what you want in 2018. You'd be surprised how powerful it is if you just take the time out to sit down and just write a list, just... You know, write down what you want to do. Even if, you know, you don't get to it, you could always, you know, put it on the list for 19. I, I always have like a rolling uh, to-do goal list and the things, you know, that I didn't get to that I still want to do because that's what life is all about. It's growth and progress. And like for me this year, a lot of things popped up that weren't even on my goal list. So... Uh, that's nice too, especially when you meet those goals and you keep going. So uh, I wish you all the best for a lovely holiday season. 
and I will see you guys in January. Have a happy, happy new year, and we'll talk to you soon. Okay, Aries, take care. Bye-bye.